I just want to say last time we were here, uh, there was a comment made that the people that these affect, the groups that these affect, weren't there, weren't all there. I know the farmer's market was there. But I'm really proud to see everyone who came out this time to support change, basically. Um, as you know, I'm a part of the committee organizing the Loveland Farmer's Market, and we continue to be mystified, as everyone else is, by the new special events policies and fees and the inclusion of the Loveland Farmer's Market in these parameters. Uh, the Farmer's Market is not a special event. As Tim Canada had mentioned, we are a seasonal business with a tax ID number registered with and recognized by the state of Ohio and operating in historic downtown Loveland. As a business, we run weekly from May through October. We continue to supply a venue for local farmers, cottage industry vendor vendors, and artisans to sell their products directly to Loveland area residents while providing opportunities for the residents to learn more about food and products directly from the source. We have a symbiotic relationship with many other historic downtown businesses and are thankful for the assistance of businesses like the Loveland Canoe and Kayak and Eads Hardware. Thank you for your support and your help. We continue to enrich and strengthen our community as one of the best farmers markets in the area, the best one of the best farmer markets in the area. However, unlike any other city in the area, our city council has decided to impose excessive fees on the local farmers and the vendors and on us, the market organizers, necess necessitating an increase in booth rental fees. Last year, it cost $200 to participate in our market for our vendors. This year, that will be raised to over $1,000 per vendor. It will be these fees and not greener pastures that will drive our market out of historic Loveland and this council will not be forgotten for it. We will continue with or without the help of our local council and we will find a place and a way to have this market. It will no longer be a credit to the city of Loveland. Uh, Dave, now that you're